Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn to Live Fully. One of the major, major keys we found, the, the first high-performing habit, is seek clarity. And what we found is one of the practices that high-performers do is they define the feeling they're after. And so when we had to explain that and later talk about it in the energy chapter, we had to differentiate between feelings and emotions, and they are different. Emotions tend to be, they're, they're the same. Yeah. Like we ha they're physical. They're almost always automatic, even though in the brain is creating associations, there's lots to happen. For us, they just kind of... Emotion comes up. Yeah, you're watching a movie and you're just sad, and you're yeah. like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm crying. You didn't even have the tissues ready. You're just like, Wah! you know? Uh, but the feelings are usually interpretations that we make of what that emotion was and how it sticks and the meaning we give it to it. Yeah. And the example I used to, you know, I like to give, and I don't remember if it's in the book or not, honestly, because here's what's happened. This book is 400 pages. It was 1,481 when I finished. Ooh, baby, you edited it down. Yes, and it was 1,481, good, complete. Yes. Like, it was like awesome. Yes. But I was like, that's gonna freak people out. So we're publishing a bunch in academic journals later and then stripped it down to 400 pages so it's more readable and yeah. fun and orientable. So I can't remember if this one actually made it in there, but. Um, the example I like to give is if you and I go to a haunted house. Yeah. Which I love. I love them. I love them. And they scare me the crap. But if we, if you and I walk around, you know, you walk around one of the walls in yes. a haunted house, someone jumps out at you. Yeah. You and I are both going to jump. Yes. We are emotionally going to experience fright immediately. It's going to be there. Right. But I might be freaked out for the next five minutes and you might be laughing. Why? It's the meaning and the feeling that we've defined it as. That's fine for everybody. Here's the issue that people have, and you have to be careful about when we start talking about energy, because emotional energy is real. Yes. And that is, look, if at six, like we, we go to the haunted house at you know 5 p.m. in the afternoon. If at 9 p.m. now you're in your house, you're alone, but you're completely safe, and you still feel scared, that's not the haunted house's problem. That is the way that you are defining and working through your own emotions. You had the emotion of terror and fear, and you're still experiencing that feeling. That's a mental job, not an emotional job. Mm -hmm. So your job is to go, wow, I'm at my house. I've, I've lived here for 10 years. I've never been threatened in this house. This is a safe place. I, I got to redefine the feeling I want to experience. And I work with one, uh, an Olympic sprinter, gold medalist, Olympic sprinter as a client. And this person's huge breakthrough in getting better and going from literally uh, one Olympics before not meddling at all mm. to now gold. I said, what made, like, what was the thing? Yeah. And one of the things they said to me was, I learned to define the feeling. Mm. And I said, what do you mean by that? And he basically said, you know, if, 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 if there's a bunch of us at the starting box and we're all in perfect poise and perfect condition, the one to bet on is the one that says, this is the way I want to feel in this race right now. I know my emotions are going crazy. Like my heart's beating. I can hear everybody. I'm waiting for that shot blast. I, I can see my goal. I know how important this is. And all these, emo like he's, their emotions are there. Yeah. But that person's defining the feeling. I'm going to feel centered now. I'm going to get myself in the zone now. Even though the anxiety is, the emotion of anxiety is there for all Olympic level com competitors, all of them. But they define that fee that emotion as a feeling that helps give them a performance edge. Hmm. And I think that's important too. You know, Bruce Springsteen says if he's ever backstage and doesn't feel like nerves, he's gonna hang it up. Yeah. But that's anxiety, he's just defining it differently. Let's learn to live fully. Learn to live fully is focused on educating you on the immense power each of you has within. We provide several techniques, methods, and wisdom that help you to live your life to your full potential. As our primary focus is on personal growth, we provide videos, audiobooks, blogs that help you learn to live fully. Please do check out our online store at http colon forward slash forward slash learn to live fully dot com slash shop slash and order online courses and ebooks that help you to learn to live your life to your full potential. All our products are available at a discounted and affordable price right now. Please find the link to the Learn to Live Fully online store in the description below.
Order now. Thank you.